Uh, it's a very hot area in neuroscience to be able to take powerful modern computers and use them to interface with patients' brains and give them a better quality of life. Uh, you know, it's the potential hope for improving function after a stroke, for example. Right now, when you have a stroke, you recover some after a stroke, you go through a rehab, but we don't do anything to actively restore function. This is the potential for restoring function. We're at an exciting point in history. It's like the start of aviation. And we're the Wright brothers right now. And you know, when the Wright brothers started out, could they imagine that people would routinely hop on 747s to span the globe? It was unimaginable at the time. And, and that's where we are right now. We're just starting, but it's very exciting. So one of the goals that my laboratory has is developing a brain-computer interface that will take a visual image recorded by a digital camera of sorts and transmit the necessary information directly to electrodes on the brain and translate the visual image inputted through that camera into the neurons in the brain that normally perform the act of visual perception. So that's called a brain-computer interface. And this would be a visual prosthetic, a cortical visual prosthetic, to restore vision to patients who right now are hopelessly blind. And of course, there are many millions of patients in the United States and across the world with incurable blindness. So it's a, it's a real problem. And right now, it sounds like science fiction, but we're not that far away from this becoming a real solution for patients in, in the coming generation. So uh, it's exciting to be on the cusp of this really uh, promising new field.